Hi friends, welcome back to another week of Writing with Mr. Core. Uh, welcome back, welcome back, welcome back. I'm giving you guys all high fives right now with the hand sanitizer right next to us, ready to pump and go. <laughs> For today's lesson, I just want to let us know that we are now in our last marking period uh, together. We are now in marking period number four. I am currently working on grades for term three um, as we speak. Uh, so look out for that. For this writing, for this marking period, I should say, we are going to be knocking it out. We're going to be finishing our fourth grade stronger. Um, than before, and we are going to get it done. To get us started for today's lesson, we're going to be needing a few materials, nothing new. We're going to be needing a pen or a pencil, a blank sheet of paper, your listening ears. Um, you're going to also be creating your main idea worksheet, and you will need your Nelson Mandela text from Teams. It is located in Teams. Go ahead and hit pause, grab all your materials. And I want you guys to create your main idea worksheet that look like this, just like this. Go ahead and pause. All right, welcome back. Now that you're back, I hope you guys have gathered all your materials and created your main idea worksheet. For your worksheet, mine is a little bit different. For my main idea worksheet, I have my topic. What am I gonna be learning about? I also have my different sections of the text as for what we'll be reading about. So this uh, area is giving you a little preview into what the text will look like and how it will be organized. You can go ahead and hit pause now and you can fix your worksheet to look like mine. All right, now you're back and you have fixed um, your worksheet. Next up, we are going to be moving on and thinking about our thinking jobs for this nonfiction text. For this um, text, it is a nonfiction text. Duh, Mr. Corey, you just said that. And your thinking jobs will be, what is the topic of the text? What is the author teaching me about the topic? And what is the author's point of view? For this nonfiction text, I'm giving you guys the writing prompt before we're even exposed to the text. And today's writing prompt will be, what made Mandela such a remarkable leader? We're gonna be reading once again to find out what made Mandela such a remarkable leader. All right, and I've pulled up the text next to us over here. And for today's text, um, well, this week's text. I want you guys to reread this text multiple times so that you're able to um, do your outlines for the text. You can have enough time to stop and jot important details and information and to find the right evidence as to what made Nelson Mandela a remarkable leader. For today's text, um, nonfiction, our caption is usually located beneath the photo, but this time it's located to this um, upper right-hand corner. And go ahead and read um, your caption here. All right, after reading your caption, the next part is a synopsis. A synopsis is a brief summary of what the text will be about. So without even reading the text, you're already getting a summary of what the text will be about. And this is just a brief synopsis of what it is. Nelson Mandela became the first black president of South Africa in 1994. The year before that, he and South African president F.W. de Klerk were awarded the Nobel Peace Prize for their work to end apartheid. All right, so that's the synopsis. Now, your next job is to read the text, the different sections. As you are reading the different sections, friends, you're going to be stopping and jotting the main idea for each section. All right. Once again, as you're reading each section, you're going to be stopping and jotting to jot down the main idea for each section on your uh, main idea worksheet. You have your topic, where you know the topic will be about Nelson Mandela. Next up, what is going to be 
the main idea for his early life, and so forth. You have your worksheet here that you will create and send to me, friends, via um, Teams. You can send it to me on my phone, a picture of your outline once you're done. But all of that will help you um, answer this one question, what made Mandela such a remarkable leader? You're to use three evidence from your text to support your answer as to what made him a remarkable leader. Once you have uh, selected that, you're going to be using race to answer your question. Read and jot main idea. Once I, I'm stressing it again, as you read, jot your key ideas. Jot the main idea after reading. Find the evidence and answer the question using race. Remember, race, restate the question. A, answer the question in all parts. C, cite evidence from the text. And E, explain your evidence um, to support your answer. And always remember to check your work. Friends, this text will be available until Friday. This work will be available until Friday. This assignment is due Friday by 5 p.m. You have the full week to read your text over. You have time to reach out to me if you have any questions or comments about the assignment. If there's something that's unclear for you to do, please reach out, friends. And apart from that, I will see you for the next lesson.